Hey, pals. Good evening, everybody. Hey, happy <laughs> night two of the New Beginnings Conference 2024. <laughs> Uh, last night, our first night of the conference, so fast-paced. There's part of me that still feels like I'm in last night. So it didn't end. You know those uh, those hourglasses that we've you know been talking about. We flipped them 24 times and we're back. So <laughs> you kept it with yeah. them. <laughs> hey, so glad that you are joining us. And again, in the chat as we get started, go ahead and let us know where you're watching from. If you joined us last night, I would like for you to go ahead and start sharing what your favorite part of last night was and also what you're looking forward to tonight. Did you have one part of the first day of the conference that stood out to you? I, I love the worship and the dancing. <laughs> Y'all, the dancers, I, I think I was so mesmerized. God loves the creatives. He does, and he has a special place for him in this season. And watching, when it says dancing to the Lord, oh my word, like it's with their, it's everything they have, they're laying it down. It was stunning. Yeah, I'm with you there last night. It added a really cool element to it. They're back with us tonight. They're gonna be with us during the conference. And like you said, during praise and worship, there were times where like the dancers would take a step right with the bass line and then, I mean, the lights, everything. I mean, it was it was a powerful worship atmosphere. So, great choice. <laughs> it was so primed. You guys, everybody leaving. But this yeah. is what I saw everybody leaving with such excitement, so fired up and so empowered. And they're like, man, I can't wait for night two. Yeah, you know, we, we talk about this a lot with our students and with other uh, small groups and stuff here. You know, you go to Arby's, you go for the curly fries. And if you don't get them, you go back and get them. And <laughs> it's like, what's the point? What's the point? <laughs> You got to get what you came for. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes. They all can. that to say <laughs> that people last night, it's like, I know what the Lord's called me into yeah. for tonight. I know what he's called to me for this conference, and I'm going to get what I came for. And it was it was really cool. There's people, so, so many yes. testimonies just from last night. So, and yeah, what you so said, too, you yeah. said that they're coming in so expectant. Yes. That when you come in, That's you have that expectancy in your heart, and you go to the Lord, you're like, God, no, I'm expecting. Like, I'm ready for whatever you want to bring. I'm surrendered. My heart's open. My spirit's open whatever you want to do. And that's cool too. You know, we're talking about this, even y'all that are joining us. This is, this is a group effort. You know, Pastor Troy has been talking about this. So has Pastor Leanna. Like following Jesus, it is not a solo sport. No. Like you're not playing golf by yourself or tennis, but this is a team sport thing. So thank you all for joining. And uh, you know, this partnership, it's a really big deal. So want to go ahead and let y'all know that you're, we're going to show the first part of this. If you want to get the second part of worship tonight, including Pastor Troy, his second message of the conference, you do need to switch over to stage three at ODX if you want to watch the rest of it. So we're going to do the first part of it live yes. here. And then if you want to watch the rest of it, and he'll cue you on that too of doing whatever it's time. It's a really big deal to join stage three and uh, get signed up for all the rest of that. So When y'all join, I want to let you know that one, the benefit of joining for you and the bonus part is that you get all of the content that Pastor Troy, Pastor Leanna, they have for <laughs> you. If it's prophetic life, it's all the sermons, all the worship, but let me know, tell you what you're feeding into. This ministry, nothing is wasted. Not one cent is wasted. You get to rescue boys and girls out of sex trafficking, and guess what? It's it true. doesn't stop there. You're not just getting them out. You're giving them a home. You're giving them medical care, any kind of help they may need to recover, and then you're supporting them until... We don't have an end date. <laughs> you guys, the, it's like raising a child. You don't stop when they turn 18. And I love that Pastor Troy and Pastor Leanna emphasize this so strong. We're not done. You're not done being a parent when your kids turn 18. And so we're not done supporting these kids when they turn 18. If they want to go to college, if they need a trade, and they want to have somewhere to come back to you for holidays and Christmas and say, hey, I want you to meet my kids. This is their home that they're giving them, and this is a big deal. And so you get to be part of that, and you get to pay into and sow into the kingdom when you're part of Stage 3, and you still get a massive benefit from it. You know, if you're somebody that you've been a part of ministries in the past or maybe part of your, you know, church story, you've been a member at a church or just how you've been walking with you, if you've been looking for a ministry to be a part of and this is exciting to you, I want to encourage you, go all in with it. Like you've waited for this, you're a part of it, yeah. totally be a part of it, do exactly what the Lord's calling y'all to do. So yeah, in the chat again, I'd love to see uh, who's joining us. We had some stingy grandmas last night. <laughs> she kept all the gifts for us. That herself. started talking about, are they back with us? Oh, Las Vegas. Yeah. Hello, everybody. You got some, uh, yeah, Shelly New Mexico, Reed. so good. Oh, hey, Joe from Canada. Hey, William Blair, thank you for releasing those testimonies last night in the chat, man. So appreciate that. So good to see you back. Yeah, I wrote a lot of those names down wow. for prayer requests for, uh, yeah, going forward. Watching from Las Vegas. United Hello, Kingdom. Shelley. 
Thank you all so much. Hey, speaking of our stingy grandmas who said that they were going to buy like every package and already had some of that stuff, we want to remind you all, we've got some bundles that are exclusive to this conference. Uh, we've got the Midnight Hour one and also Year of the Open Door. And uh, both of these packages are really cool, $72 each. And uh, Candace, why don't you go over uh, a couple of the books and different stuff that's in those, in those packages. You get a crazy discount. That's just why we're bundling it just for the conference. Looking up as a insane way of seeing God in a brand new way. He puts the time of the seasons for us to pay attention and to watch. And y'all, it's in the stars and the heavens. Troy breaks it down for people like me that I can understand. It's a fantastic book. Soul Invasion, 31 Battle Cry Declarations. Great That's book. a brand new book. Great book. The, so solid. Oh, look, here we go. Here's our next package. The Year of the Open Door. You guys, this is the prophetic word spoken of the year. 40 breakthrough declarations is something you need to have. There's stuff that comes up. I love reading over my family, over my home. This one will have the Redeeming Timeline book, and you get the Redeeming Timeline battle cry card. You also get another Troy Brewer book. I am. Um, I know we, we looked at that one, and I cannot remember what's behind there. I'm telling you right now. This is incredible. I love that the calendars have the Hebrew and Gregorian. If you don't know, we're paying attention. All eyes right now are on Israel, including ours. We give them our love and our support, but it's so important to pay attention to the times and the seasons we're in, what feasts are coming up, and it's all there for you in one calendar. Listen, I both of these, let me, t let me tell you uh, how, how somebody could use all of these all together, okay? You start with redeeming your timeline, Right? Ooh. The declarations, because it's the year of the open the door, like whenever on that calendar, like mark the days where the Lord opened doors for you. Like oh, use the wow. calendar, use the book like together. A scrapbook. Yes. Yeah. Use that calendar and work your way through the book. If there's a specific declaration, the table of contents in that book, whatever it is, it's like, okay, I'm struggling this. This is where I'm being apprehended. This is where I'm being held back. Go to the table of contents in that book, look at the topic. The whole, every chapter works its way through and then use the calendar and mark what God does on each of those days. And that, that's, that's, I've got both calendars. I'm, I, that's how I'm using the year of the open door one. I love it. I was talking to the kids about it last night, uh, the ones that were here and we kind of broke it down and how cool it was that we actually get to be a part of that. We've been adopted into that sonship. And so now we get to celebrate those feasts and be a part of it. But the Redeeming Your Timeline one, that one wrecked me. And so I actually, after I read it, I started praying for events that I know will happen in the future. There are things come up. I'm like, God, let me be ready. And so prepared to respond accordingly for what's coming. <laughs> Guys, along with these packages, we also want to remind y'all we've got a silent auction that's going on, oh. super important. We've got a QR code that you can get uh, uh, just with there. We've got a great guitar that Pastor Troy and a lot of his close friends have signed. Really, Gosh. really cool item there. It's got some information there. And then also we've got a lot of Miss Janet's paintings um, that you can bid on there for a uh, silent auction. This Listen, particular painting special, they're actually going to use wow. this. This is going to be the start of a new series that will only be able to be had <laughs> by doing the silent auction. So you can also register or go bid at ODX TV. But if the QR code's there, they're giving y'all a few minutes, go ahead and click it so you have it. But this is this is a one of a kind. Yeah, and straight back into the ministry on that as well, y'all. You know, Pastor Candace talked about it yesterday a little bit about all the things that we've done over the past year. And uh, we actually want to show y'all a video uh, highlighting some of the things. So uh, watch this video, enjoy, have a prayerful spirit, enjoy it. So we've got it coming up, but listen, this one is special because we have a redemption road trip coming up. So the video we're gonna show you is actually gonna be about last the last one we just went to. It was something they have never done before. And just watch this and then we'll tell you what's coming up pretty soon. The, the dream for a ranch I also had the dream like okay we have to be able to house kids we got to be able to rescue kids out of trafficking we got to be able to rescue the rescuers we got to be able to do all those things and today that actually becomes a fulfillment yes. with Redemption Ranch Chiapas Mexico we're down here on the Guatemalan border in the southern part of Mexico what do you think we're standing on redeemed property we are man it's, it's amazing it's amazing today I got to meet a little girl that we rescued several months back that I actually talked to on zoom all the time but I never actually seen her eye-to-eye face-to-face until today so we come we come pulling up here on the ranch 
We go through the gate that says Redemption Ranch on it. As soon as we drive up, we're in the van, and Troy goes, there she is. Yeah. There she is. And you see her take a step forward, and they almost have to hold her back because she you knows you're on the bu- van, yep. and she's excited. And Troy, Troy turned into the father that he is and says, there's my little girl. She came running down the hill, and boom, man, she just about tackled me. Oh, dude. First time I've ever, first time we've ever seen each other face to face. You, you just, yeah, I can't explain it. I teared up. I had to go walk behind the van, get composed and all that. I said, wow, this is what we get to do. There's so many more kids that actually need to be saved. And every single one of them want to hug me like this little girl did today. Yeah. One of the things that we find as soon as we get here is that, man, this place is like seriously stunningly beautiful. The buildings are incredible. And of course, we're not done with the buildings, but the ones that the structures that are already standing are more than capable of taking in, you know, untold numbers of kids. This is one of the houses that we're actually gonna be housing kids right here at Redemption Ranch. Look at this place. It's redonkulous. <laughs> I tell you, we still got a lot of work uh, left to go, but this, this room here is gonna be full of tons and tons of kids here pretty quick. It's the upstairs part, but there's two other parts. I gotta show you this. Uh, I can just imagine kids running up and down these stairs. Kind of give you an understanding. I mean, these are the kinds of bathrooms we're building. Boom, look at that, it's nice. So, you know, this is, we're actually doing this to American standards, but with that said, it is a lot of work. So like what? So what? I mean, if we're, if we're willing to rescue these kids, if we're willing to feed these kids, if we're willing to house these kids, why wouldn't we be willing to do it right? Come go with me. Here's another awesome room. Tons and tons of kids are gonna be down in here. It won't be very much longer. It will be completely finished. And this place will be full of kids. Now we have facilities that are already finished, but this, this house here is really important. And it wasn't built for rescue kids. It was built for American missionaries to stay in. We'll have, we are gonna have to build a kitchen. We are gonna have to put a new floor in. Yeah, we're gonna have to put new walls in. And here's what I say, so what? I know how to rescue kids. I've been doing that for 28 years. I know how to feed kids. I know how to help kids. But here's what I also know. I can't do it without your help. Will you help me rescue these kids? These kids are waiting on us and they can't wait much longer. Guys, we're gonna go get them. Boom. That is incredible. You guys, I wanna say again, if you look at that house, this is not something quickly put together. This is not a hut. That is a house that I would live in with my kids. Did you see that bathroom? It had like this stone, it was beautiful. It's not basic, it's not bare minimum. It's not like, hey, what can we just do to get them out of the cold and get a roof over their heads? No, it's like, hey, what can we do to give them life and life abundantly? Yeah. You know, one of the big themes from what Pastor Troy has been talking about with a lot of the rescues and kids and stuff is like, that, you know, these kids have been praying and they, they, haven't, they haven't known what they were praying. Like they oh, were praying okay. for somebody to show up. Like, you know, and there's this element of patience that comes with it. So, you know, imagine what it's like for them when somebody does show up and then like their next <laughs> step, their next step is to live in a place like that, you yeah. know? And, uh, you know, to, to go along with the facilities and stuff, you've got people who, who, you know, they, they're devoting the rest of their lives to this and what the Lord wants to do uh, through people for, for, uh, for heaven to come to earth for, for kids. Like, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's overwhelming. So you thank, you all, thank you all for praying. Thank you for giving. And uh, we hope videos like that are an encouragement to you. Uh, Pastor, we've got one other you know, thing that we put together specifically to talk about at the conference, an item that um, it's, uh, the feedback already has been that it's been a special thing that, oh my that, gosh. that, that, grandma, that grandmothers are already talking about, like, this is something they're going to pass on. You know, so tell them about tell them about the the two pendants. We also have two pendant necklaces that have a decree or blessing on them that are inscribed with Troy's handwriting. And y'all, he has the coolest handwriting, anyways. But just look at them; they're on your screen right now. The square one is in gold. The round one is in silver. I know that the round one says "blessings and peace on you." These are, they're stunning. I love it. You know, wear it for yourself and just be reminded that, hey, I'm a child of God and be encouraged in that day. But also these are an incredible gift. Like it's like wrapping somebody in love, like wrapping somebody in like a decree or a prayer each day. And those are available for you. They're at ODX TV with the bundles that we have. 
You guys, this is amazing. I want to say with that video, if y'all do not know, that was the last Redemption road trip, and that was in Chapas, Mexico. And we are getting ready to go back. Pastor Troy, Pastor Suwanami, and the whole crew are heading back um, really soon, and they're doing another Redemption road trip. Uh, please stay attuned into that, especially if you have ODX TV. I know they're going to give you all special content for that. They'll be doing lives on Facebook. Pastor Troy is so good about keeping us updated when he's on these missions. But these, we're not done. We are not done. There are hundreds of kids that are waiting for a place to go as soon. Like every time that they build something, it fills up. These kids will finally have a place to go. And, they, and God is bringing the right people to watch over them, to give them a mom and dad, to give them a place that feels like home. And so we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going to these places that nobody else wants to go. And it's going to be awesome. We're going to get those kids out. Yeah, fully believe that. Hey, maybe you're watching that video and you've been a part of our community for days, weeks, months, years, whatever yeah. it may be. And you may be somebody like people I've met the past two years that are like, you know, I've been involved online. I've been involved through email. I've been involved through the prayer center. I've been involved through mail. And you you are considering coming and visiting here in Burleson or you're considering partnering in a bigger way. I want to encourage you, if, if the Lord is in that, please, please, as your brother in Christ, respond to that. Especially this week, whatever he's prompting you to do, take that first step. Like, yeah, if, especially if you've been putting it off and right now you know the thing that's coming to mind, that is, the, that is <laughs> totally the thing that you need to respond to. And we got some oh. uh, Miss Michelle uh, greetings again. Hello, hello. Wow. I see that flag, Michelle, and I'm like, yeah, I've got a really good idea who that is. So good. William, I'm glad that the weather gave you time off and that you are able to watch this, but I bless you, and I say that you will not lose money for taking that time off of work. I pray that God restores that wow. and blesses you on that in Jesus' name. Let this just be a reprieve and a time for refreshing that you get, that you will not be tired, you will not be exhausted, and you won't have to worry about the money lost off of being off work. You better preach. <laughs> So good. Oh. Y'all, actually, oh, you know, man. thank you so much, you know, for being media missionaries. You know, we talk about this on the posts and shares. I know many of you have Instagram, different stuff like that. There's a way to do this. And also, you know, if you see something on there and you don't know if the person has social media, take a screenshot mm -hmm. of it and text it to them. Take a screenshot of it and iMessage it. Do something like that. And y'all, you never know. We've heard so many testimonies in 2023 about people that were like, I had no, I had no idea someone who was actively doing this and it's like I got one screenshot or I got one sentence from something and they immediately got plugged in so yeah. Some super exciting stuff. Y'all, tonight we've got night two of the conference. If you were with us last yeah. night, then you heard Pastor Troy talk about a number of things when it comes to the year 2024, the number 24, some uh, incredible ways that the word that the number 24 showed up in Scripture, some certain words that appeared 24 times, both in Old and New Testament books. Uh, but I want to share with you the part last night, and I, to my knowledge, it was not in stuff that he had planned. This was totally something that he was sensitive to, and he talked about. He um. started mentioning that 24. 2024 is a year where the excuses go away and also oh. that people who have said things like, well, I, you know, nobody's come and preached to me yet. There's no way for me to know Ooh. God. And he went straight to the book of Romans and talked about where it specifically says that God has written his love in the sky and in the stars and that people are without excuse for knowing of his love. Y'all, that is a, oh. that's the kind of deal that whenever we start preaching a gospel like that, there are going to be people that get upset. And he was very clear last night. If you have uh, ODX and you have access to it, I encourage you to go back and watch it. But tonight, I, I, I would like for you, not for me to prepare you, not for Pastor Candace to prepare you, not for what you read last week to prepare you. Right now in this moment and during worship, please, as your brother in Christ, ask the Father how he wants to prepare your heart and your yes. mind for the message tonight. Because we're just going to keep going. And I feel led to give a word of encouragement. There's a lot of times that I feel like we can be, we can feel excluded from something and we're by ourselves trying to build our faith. Listen, the Lord works so well when you're alone. Come on. I'm telling you, Jesus went <laughs> away. As soon as he was baptized, he went away to spend time with the Lord. Paul did not start his mission until after he trained. So get in your Bible, get in your word, and you hit your knees and you spend that time with God. And I'm telling you, when you get to that place, God will bring you your community. And once you are ready, if you don't have that community, build it. People are waiting for people to step out, open up their homes, open up Bible studies, and preach the gospel. I'm telling you, God will bring the people you need. He doesn't want us alone, but he will pull you alone to spend time with you and to speak his word into you. So do not be discouraged. <clears throat>
to go back to those bundles, you know, we have an hourglass in both of those bundles, one with blue sand, one with orange. And, um, you know, I had shared with you about an encounter I had with the Lord recently with sand, right? <laughs> and so look, when you look at that hourglass and you see the sand finding back through there, like just take it as a time and just meditate and be like, Lord, like you have more thoughts about me yeah. than all the sand on the seashore. And as you see that, just let him just absolutely bombard you with all these good thoughts that he has for you. Again, Pastor Ken has talked about Redeeming Your Timeline is a great book to do that. Take the hourglass, Golly. turn it on its side, read until the, like, and you'll be amazed at how much ground you can cover. Hey, those, the 40 breakthrough declarations, if you are a media missionary and you're like, what do I share? What do I tweet? What do I put on Instagram? What do I put on Facebook? Open the book, go to a page and listen, Pastor Troy is not going to care if you type it out word for word in whatever social media you have. One of my mentors says this, he says, the minute that you agree with something that's preached, you own it now. Oh, it's not plagiarism. You own it. If you're willing to agree with it and carry it, you own it now. <laughs> Man, y'all, do you not feel it? God's going to do something great tonight. You're going to get it right there wherever you're sitting watching the screen just as much as we are here. You're going to feel the Holy Spirit. I ask you right now, man, just get ready. Prepare yourself. Make room. Like if you need to lay down on the ground and just be with it, make room wherever you're at. I know the Lord's going to do something. Be expectant and get excited. And say, God, I'm ready. Be surrendered. Don't let anything interrupt this. Don't get discouraged. If distractions come, shut them off. Spend this time with the Lord. We're getting ready to go into a very cool time of worship tonight. Pastor Troy's got another lit word. <laughs> Y'all, if there's if there's one if there's one place and if there's one community that you can feel free to be undignified in your love for the Lord, y'all, this is it. This is it. Come so as just, you are, don't just, stay there. <laughs> just go in. If you do something weird, you will find at least one person at this church and in this community that will have your back. <laughs> yeah, we are we're a hodgepodge of mixed mess. It is beautiful. I love it's our unity. So I love it. We all come together and we meld really well because we all have a love for Jesus and that's what matters. That's what brings us together. Wow. You know, tonight as we're going through, uh, pr- even during praise and worship, I know that you are faithful to do this. And, you know, when Pastor Troy says stuff, if there's something that you're just like, whoa, put that in the chat, okay? Highlight it, put that in there, and that will be that'll be a great encouragement. Because somebody may be like, wait, wait, what did I miss? And you'll catch it, mm-hmm. and you'll share it with them so that we don't miss it. And somebody always goes back over. If we don't hit it right away, I'm telling you, somebody goes back, every single one of your comments is on there. If you need prayer... You can call the call prayer center, but also put it on the, if you're willing and you just want to be bold, put it on there. Let somebody pray for you. Let us be standing in agreement with you for break food tonight. Yeah. Y'all, uh, Pastor Candice is going to pray for y'all as we get started. I'd like for us, we're going to put the uh, QR code for the silent auction up there, mm-hmm. cycle through some of this stuff while that she's praying and give y'all an opportunity to check some of this out. But will you pray and yeah. just, just pray for them, pray for us and let's get going. Yeah. Father God, I thank you so much for every single person that is joining us tonight from all over the world. God, I thank you that our hearts are ready and they are hungry for you. Lord, I know what you do with a heart that seeks you above all else. And so God, I cannot wait to see what you're gonna do in the testimonies they're gonna pour in. God, I pray that with the expectation will come breakthrough and solution, Lord. I pray that they are, the enemy is so baffled by how you showed up during this time for every single one of our friends. Lord, we ask for encouragement and we ask for strengthening to be unruffled by whatever comes because our faith is so strong in you. Lord, I pray that each one of these people that as they get fed and filled with you, Holy Spirit, God, that you will bring a community that sets them off like wildfire. Lord, that you will give them words that they didn't even know they had and an understanding with wisdom and discernment for this year. God, that is so unmatched from what they've experienced. Lord, we know that you are preparing an army and you are gathering it. And we ask right now that the remnant be rising up, be shedding off whatever it takes of this world to be ready for you and prepare their hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Y'all, you know, so we're about to close and, and send it back down to Pastor Leanne and Pastor Jerry. If you're looking for your prophetic word card and you haven't gotten it yet, please email word at troybrewer.com word at troybrew.com and we'll get these sent to you. Last yes, thing, while Jesus. Pastor Candace was praying, y'all aren't able to see this with the screen that we have, uh, but listen, we are we are joining y'all literally through a doorway. And <laughs> as you're watching an this door. and you are coming in to the Amen. house, there's literally a doorway here. So you are invited more than that. Yes. You're already here. God bless y'all and we're going to send it down to Pastor Leanne and Pastor Jerry. Have fun tonight. Yes.
Well, good evening, everyone, everybody in the house tonight. Would you guys join me and welcome Pastor Leanna? Hello, everybody. It's so good to see you. Thank you for coming. I hope you came with the same expectation, but just a little bit more than last night, because last night was good, and tonight's going to be better. So I'm so glad that you're here. So how many of you last night, when you opened up that white envelope and you got your prophetic word, how many knew it was directly from the Lord specifically for you? Right on, right on. Mine how, was. How about the word from Pastor Troy? Yes. It was good. It, it was, was worth so the drive, good. wasn't it? And some of you drove a long, long, <laughs> long way. Well, it's so good to have you guys tonight. Just a couple of things to make you aware of. Throughout this tonight and tomorrow going into Saturday, we're having a couple of things that we're auctioning. We're auctioning a guitar, uh, and it's yes. signed by a lot of different personalities. And we're also auctioning this one-of-a-kind uh, painting that Janet Hoon did last night. Uh, the painting will actually go to a water well for Redemption Ranch Choppas, and the guitar, the money off of that, will actually go to one of the homes that we're sponsoring in Mexico City. Uh, there's a QR code right there. You'll see it on the monitors and screens. If you're in, interested in the guitar or trying to get that painting, go to that QR code, and it's a silent auction. You can actually put a bid on that. We encourage you to do so. It will actually touch lives and make a difference. And just know I am bidding. I am bidding on that picture. I was talking to her about it. It is a one of a kind and it is for 2024. It is the open door and it's the blessings that are pouring through it. And there's a tree and it is just absolutely stunning. I love all of her paintings, but that is a special one. And the guitar is signed by a lot of our own musicians here. I know Troy's is on there and um, Josh Weathers, Josh Weathers yes, and Brian signed it today, and I've seen a few other people sign it, and so that is going to be a treasure too. But Troy does not need a guitar, so please somebody else bid on it because he doesn't need it anymore. So I encourage you to get a guitar and take it home with you and bless somebody with it if you don't play it. Yes, and also uh, Saturday evening, Pastor Troy mentioned that he's actually going to be doing a star party. Now, the dinner part is sold out. You cannot come to that, but we are opening up the star party to anybody. You can go to Brush Fire and sign up for that. The star party will begin at 7 o'clock. It'll be inside the building here. I think the doors are going to be open at 6 o'clock, so you still have time to sign up for the star party if you haven't done so. We encourage you to do that. Also, when you leave tonight, if you go down the left uh, hallway past the men's restaurant, we actually have some stores that are available. Some people don't even know it, where you can actually get other paintings by Janet and other merchandise, so I encourage you either tonight or tomorrow when you get here go check out all the merchandise that we have in our stores yes there's some really good stuff out there and it's just past the men's restroom into the kids area i encourage you please stop by there and go see also the dance team that was here last night has a sign up table if you're interested in doing the dance or any of those things there's a lot of stuff out there our commons area isn't big enough so we take over the kids commons area and it's out there so please make sure to go out there and see what's going on and if you have not been to a star party and i know you're thinking wow it's inside it's actually, when you're first seeing the first one, it's actually better to see it inside because he goes through the whole creation to revelations through the stars and it's so much easier to see it and understand it. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. It is amazing. It is one of the coolest things to be able to look and go, God wrote that in the heavens before he ever wrote it in a book. That is like amazing. And so you'll have something in your arsenal that you didn't have before. If you haven't ever been to one, I encourage you, you want to be here. It's incredible. Are you ready tonight? I am. Did you come expecting something from the Lord tonight? Yeah. So would you join me and stand and welcome the senior pastor of Open Door Church and the man of God for the hour, Pastor Troy Brewer. Welcome. <laughs> What's going on, Sassafras? Oh, I'm ready. Yeah. Man, my prophetic word last night was so good. Yeah. So I'm going to hold you to it. What did you get? Tony. <laughs> 
God said that you're going to love me more this year than last year. <laughs> oh, you're so full of baloney, man. That is not what your prophetic word said. Uh, no, but I'm, I, I'm willing to love you more than ever before. Okay, thank you. No, actually, it was a word from Joel, and it said that everything that the devil had taken from me, God's going to make him give it way back. So I'm taking it back. Yes. Yeah. Mine was all about salvation and that I'm going to see a lot of salvations this year. It had specifically about I will see the Lord be the God of my salvation and many others this year. That's I'm like, so you know good. what? I'm believing the Lord for that. Well, yeah. yeah. It's going to be a good year. Hey, man, you know, one of, the, one of the cold testimonies I got from so many people here tonight is uh, a bunch of people. Uh, I mean, like more than a handful of people. Tell me, I had my first prophetic dream last night when I left this place. Awesome. Yay. If there's, is there anybody in here that you can say, man, God spoke to me in a dream last night? Yeah, holler out if you did. Just say, woo! And look at all that. Man, that's crazy. That is amazing. That's a lot. People are like, dude, I went home and had a dream that just blow your mind. I'm like, Good. okay. Good. That's Good. extraordinary. That's extraordinary. Well, friends, I want to welcome you here tonight, too. And we're about to declare war and victory yes. at the same exact time. Yes, do it. Amen. We're really looking forward to that. We're gonna we're gonna take a look in the heavens tonight, and we're gonna I don't know. We're, there's no telling where all we're gonna go tonight. There's really not. I'm I'm just gonna. I have so much notes and so many things to talk about. I didn't even get into one third of what I'd planned on preaching last night. And just the spirit of the Lord is here. He's here. I'm expecting God to show up tonight during praise and worship. I'm expecting, I'm, I'm expecting the king to respond to our worship here tonight. So give him everything that you have. Yes. We're going to, we're going to do this part, and then I'm going to talk to you and give you a little bit more instruction right after we get through doing this. But Leanna, are you ready to see breakthrough in here? Yes. Yeah? Are you ready to see breakthrough? Breakthrough. Yes, I am. <laughs> this is how we talk to each other. <laughs> Baby, all these musicians, we all have things in our ear, and they That's don't okay. worry about the I don't, have anything they don't care in if my anybody ear. can hear anything up here anymore, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, so, but I, still, I'm happy for you to read my lips, so look, is it? Yes. I love you. <laughs> I love you, oh, too. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> We're going to have to learn sign language know, pretty soon. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, this is a true <laughs> prophetic act. Chains are breaking. Things are changing. Yes. Momentum yes. is changing. Yep. Yep. Jesus is here. Yes. I don't want to just worship him. I want to. I want to give him a shout. I want to give him a holler. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Come on, let's just do it. You ready? guitar on and also I got to talk to this crowd I want to ask you all I want to ask all you guys to sit down yep now we have and you guys experienced it last night 
We have some crafted worship. You know what I mean? There's a kind of there's a kind of worship, man, where I'm gonna get up here and just pick and grin and do the best I can. But then there's the kind of worship, man, where we give, I'm talking about people dedicated their life to being the very best they can at what they're doing. And so during this first song, guys, we have this amazing worshiping dance team, correct? Yep. yep. And I'm looking for them. I wanna make sure they're here before I tell everybody that that's gonna happen. Okay, so they are here. You guys back there? Okay. So. During this first song, I want you guys just to remain seated for the first part of it and let the Spirit of the Lord hit you as these guys worship King Jesus. And then whenever we get done with this, when they leave, I'm going to ask everybody to stand up and move forward. And then our ministry teams are going to start doing all kinds of ministry for the people that are up here. Guys, this is a night of breakthrough. Amen. This is it. You're here at the right place at the right time for the right kind of miracle to happen. So you guys ready to do this? I think I'm ready now. All right, my friend.
Love you, Lord. We love you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, God. We love you, Lord. We declare your goodness in this place. I want to ask everybody that's down here in the front, down here, just kind of move forward and make room for everybody else, guys. This uh, this place is not any more holy up here than it is out there, but it's a lot more intentional. And I can see all the people in the aisles going, man, I want to get down there and worship. Our altar teams are here. Our elders are in the prayer tent and they're praying for people. This is a house of prayer. You know, when the, when the whole world shut down because of COVID, we built a healing tent and put the elders in it and opened the doors, hallelujah. And we saw so many miracles. We're still seeing miracles. Tonight is a night of incredible miracles. And I can, I can feel the Lord right now. We love you, Jesus. Amen. So we're gonna worship the Lord. If you see, if somebody comes up to you and prays for you, you'll see they have a, I don't know, one of those cool things you hang around your neck, whatever. What are those things called? That's not a word I use, lantern. Is it really Lanyard? 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 That's a weird name, man. Is that what everybody in here calls that? Is a Lanyard? There's got to be a better name than that. Okay. How do you say it in Spanish? No help. Father, we consecrate ourselves to you right here, right now. We love you, Lord, and we praise you and we thank you. God, let there be healing in the house. Oh, Jesus, we love you, Lord. God, I pray, God, that all of us in here, God, would know your manifest presence tonight. And thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen.
of my soul Jesus I will never let you go you taken me from the miry clay set my feet upon let's do that again say right say Jesus Jesus lover of my soul Jesus, I will never let you go. You take me up from the miry clay, set my feet up on the rock, and now I know, I know, I love you. I love, I know, I need you. I need you. And though my world may fall, I never let you go.
Lover of my soul Jesus I will never let you go You take me from the miry clay Set my feet up You guys hold this sea for me Hold the sea Lord of heaven and earth Lord of heaven and earth Lord of heaven and earth Lord of heaven and Pastor Pauline, you and I were talking earlier today about this moment. What was on your heart? <laughs> well, Pastor Troy, a lot of these songs are very nostalgic. They definitely take yeah. me back to certain memories. Back when, when you were a child? Because <laughs> it seemed like it was a year or so back for me. A year or so ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I see tears right here in the river because I feel Jesus. like it's doing that. These songs are doing that for many of us, and we can go back and revisit the memories and the times that he's been so faithful to us. These songs are attached to a memory of his faithfulness, and we can praise him for that. And at the same time, there are things that were on our hearts back then that have not yet come full circle. Okay, that's good. Yeah, there's a bunch of unanswered prayers that still need to be answered, right? right? And there's a there's a place, guys, you know, the, the daddy of John the Baptist, right? You guys know that whole story, right? So the angel Gabriel, he shows up, and the daddy of John the Baptist is like, dang, what are you here to do? And he said, I'm here to answer your prayer. Well, in the English translation, it says, I'm here to answer your prayer. But the word prayer, when you do a study on it, is in past tense. So the way that it should be translated is Gabriel shows up and says, I'm here to answer the prayer you no longer pray. You used to pray it a long time ago. And he's like, what prayer is that? Brother, your woman's gonna get knocked up. And he's like, no, I don't pray that prayer anymore. He's like, too bad, so sad. <laughs> it's in the Bible. And then he gets in trouble because he starts speaking against it. Like, well, how in the, like, okay, you're out. You're just going to mess it up. Amen. But he literally says, I'm here as an angel of the Lord to answer the prayer that you no longer pray. So, Father, we pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that the angel of the Lord would be here to answer the prayers we don't even remember to pray anymore. Something we prayed for years and years ago, Lord God. God, your faithfulness is way past, way past, Lord God, our faithfulness. And King Jesus, sir, thank you, God, for releasing your angels for the performance of your word. And I love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. you are. 
was born Oh, and you are more than able Oh, and you are more than able Oh, and you are more than able Who am I to deny what the Lord can do?
You're here on a good night tonight. How many guys, how many of y'all can already say, I already got my breakthrough, it's already here. Anything else is just icing on top of the cake tonight, right on? Hey, listen, I want you to hug somebody. I want you to love somebody. I want you to be nice to somebody. And y'all can start making your way back to the seats. We'll be right back with you. Jesus, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I praise you, God. When it comes to these kids and when it comes to their babies, they should be able to count on us to be the good guys. If the body of Jesus does not answer this, nobody else is coming. The lion has roared, who can but fear? The God of heaven has thundered, who can but prophesy? Revival, the kingdom is coming in Jesus' name. We pray, Father God, sir, for the salvation of Mexico City. Hallelujah. If it's bandaging the broken, we're bringing forth the message of freedom, of freedom and liberation. Here I am alone. The need across the country is great, but our God is greater. Our foundation is in the Lord, and as we pour our love into the Lord, our seed will grow. And the Spirit of the Lord is made manifest here. In Jesus' name. Are you all the way in? Estás totalmente adentro. If I'm poor, if I'm left, I'll serve you just the same. The Lord told us to stop and to be a blessing to you. So that you know that Jesus sees you here. So we give this to you in Jesus' name. And if I'm known by how I love We're standing on redeemed property. We are, man. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Today we pulled up for the first time. Troy turned into the father that he is and says, there's my little girl. She came running down the hill and boom, man, she just about tackled me. Oh, dude. First time we've ever seen each other face to face. I teared up. I had to go walk behind the van, get composed <laughs> and all that. I said, wow, this is what we get to do. Guys, we have millions of dollars worth of work to do here. There's so many more kids that actually need to be saved. And every single one of them want to hug me like this little girl did today. Here I am, Lord. Me. We're not just fighting and rescuing these kids, but we're actually demanding that the governments yep. of this world stop this mess. And for the churches to stand up and say, no more, no more, not on our watch. Jesus is the Redeemer. Jesus is the Redeemer, and he's the one who brings redemption. <sighs> Name C. And he's rescued. What? Oh my goodness. This happens. Of course it is. In Hebrew. Gracias por el honor, Señor, de formar parte de su vida. I bless my daughter, Nimsi. Hoy bendigo a mi hija, Nimsi. With the Father's love. Con el amor de Padre. In the name of Jesus. And listen to all these bells. Just listen. Wow. Let freedom ring in the name of yes. Jesus. Yes. Come on. That's a prophetic sound. It's the yeah. sound of freedom. Oh. 
I've seen that video a bunch of times. I never get tired of it, man. There's just so many different miracles. I always want to kind of like do a commentary through it. And just go, guys, can I tell you what's going on here? Like, is it possible for me to go through the last minute of that? Are you guys capable in the booth of playing the last minute of that and leaving my microphone on? Right? Are you guys, yeah, you guys do it? That's outstanding, man. Come on, I dare you. Go ahead and do it. The last minute of it. The last 60 seconds. Because it's, it's like three minutes long. And I'll end up talking. So right on. So here we are right here. And oh, stop this that, mess. And for right the churches on, to stand up and say no more. All of those shots are in Cancun, and that, of course, is our Jesus new rescue center in Cancun. Yeah, thank you for bringing that Jesus up. I'm having to show everybody my bald spot. That, <laughs> that, the, uh, that little girl, wait, let me, hey, man, can you guys stop? Can you guys just stop the video? Can you all stop it? No? Push pause. Okay. There you go. There you go. See? So right before all that, that girl in the white dress, that was the girl that Leanna rescued. Yeah, the girl that's being baptized. Yeah. Yeah, so that, by the way, was in the witch's hut way up the uh, Amazon River. Mm -hmm. Had a couple of curses put on me. I had to get off that day, but we got to yes. preach Jesus yes. in there. That little girl right there is the girl that Leanna and Anna rescued in Brazil last year, and then she's 13 year old, and we got her, and we did not know that she was pregnant whenever we got her, and we've had her for a couple of months, and then went, oh, there's a baby bump going on. Yes. Right? Yes. She was found with child, as the Bible says. Yes. <laughs> Which is a mild euphemism for going, hey, I don't think I'm seeing a bump on old Mary over there. <laughs> and so, And so she gave her heart to Jesus. She's like, I don't want to be a mama without knowing Jesus. Yes. And that little girl was a real slave. That little girl. That little girl was a yes. true slave. I'm talking about was owned by another human being and had had her body sold from a very young age and she was only 13. And you know what's so, beautiful is when we were able to redeem her and set her free, she sleep. went and got more kids and brought them to us. And she yep. said, I know a place yep. where they can save you. Amen. And we have gotten so many kids redeemed and set free because this little girl was yeah. set free. She's a go-getter, man. She's like She's the doing woman it. at the well. She went and she said, let me go and tell you about somebody who told me all that I had done and gave me a drink of water yep. that I'll never thirst again. And that little girl, yeah, she's going to have a baby which means we have another grandbaby and uh, we're going to go down and see her. But she not only was redeemed and set free, but she went and told everyone else. She didn't keep it to herself. She, she went and told keep everybody. It to it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Well, let's keep rolling here for just a little bit. If y'all could put that on this screen right here, I appreciate it. Can y'all put it? Thank you. So there we are discovering that Nimshi, this 18-year-old <laughs> girl that we had just rescued, uh, we're talking to her and she's telling us her name. And I want you to look at the look on Swami's face. <laughs> and she's like, you ain't gonna believe what I'm fixing to tell you, man. <laughs> And that's the moment, literally right then as she's finding out that her name is Nimshi. It's a Hebrew word. She's been a slave since she was 11 years old. She's 18 now. And her mama prophetically named her Nimshi, which is Hebrew for rescued. And that's the moment we caught all that. Because that is a Mexican girl and she should, and she goes in Hebrew right there. Now I want you to watch how Jerry and Daryl are crying right here. I want to make fun of them here. I want you to watch them. I want you to watch. We're over there praying and we're speaking the Father's heart over this little girl who's been so badly abused. And she's receiving. We're calling her holy and clean and we're telling her that she's a good girl. And uh, look at Daryl back there crying. <laughs> look, at, look at that. That stupid look on Jerry's face. <laughs> Let me tell you what was going on. You're mean. <laughs> Jerry's like, I don't think I'm going to survive this moment. Let me tell you what was going on as this little girl was telling her story. And these, these guys, and I'm just going to brag on, on the men that we have in our church. Guys, I'm so proud of you. These, these three guys that went, they're all fathers, and they have a father's heart. And what this little girl was telling them was, my dad is the one who trafficked me. It was my dad. 
It was my dad. So when they heard that from this little girl, it broke their daddy's heart. Yeah, we're dads. And, and so it broke their hearts of how can a dad do that? And so they're crying because they're pouring into her and redeeming the father's heart for this little that's girl right. who had been trafficked by her dad. Yeah. So that's why they're crying. <laughs> You don't got to take up for them. They're grown men. <laughs> They're my favorites. They take good care yeah, of me. That is so funny. It was so, oh. uh, so funny for me to watch that video and watch those two guys with their balling. Because, man, to be in that position right there, yeah. to get to be a daddy to, a, to an abused little girl yep. and actually just be a dad yeah. and is a big deal. It's a big deal. And we are in that position over and over and over again. And again, next week, guys, we will be in that position yet again. Yes. And uh, we're going to be rescuing people in Mexico City and also in Chapas. We're going yep. back to that very spot. To go see Nimshi. What are you crying for? Because I'm a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I cry all the time. <laughs> Well, oh. I'm not going to argue with that. Hallelujah. You let me see my little girl. Don't mess up your cool eyelashes, man. I won't. They'll be fine. But one of them. <laughs> oh. Don't start something we can't finish up here in front of all these people. <laughs> you know what? It's a church. You need to get off this I stage. told you she was like that. I told you. <laughs> So anyway, man, we, we, she's fine. She's fine. Thank, Thank you so Thank much. You see, you got the, see, you have our kind. sweet friends Thank concerned. You. That's very nice. You I'm sorry. Nice that hurts. <laughs> okay. So we have a front row seat for that guys. Um, I told y'all last night that we're about to do this trip. We're taking a bunch of rescuers with us. We're going to rescue. We're taking on some new homes. We're going to meet a whole bunch of new girls that have already been rescued and take on the responsibility of making sure that they're clothed and they're fed and that they're loved and that somebody yeah. speaks a father's heart into those girls' lives. And then we're actually going to rescue some more kids. And a mama's heart. And mama's hearts. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. They need you. mamas too. And we're going to do this. And I, and I told y'all last night, Hey man, that, that whole trip and to take the security team and to do all the stuff that we're doing is a lot and it costs a lot of money. It just does. I wish that it was free uh, to rescue more than 10,000 kids, uh, but it's not. We've all had to put a lot of time and money and effort and we bear the scars of this fight. After 30 years of doing this, we bear the scars of it. And, and it's scars that we're proud of They're and not beautiful. ones that we're ashamed of. That's right. They're and, beautiful. Uh, I, I want to just tell you, last night, guys, the offering was incredible. It was the biggest conference offering that we've ever received. Yeah. It was $118,000. Yes. Yay, Jesus. I don't, I don't mind telling you because none of that money is going to us. We know exactly where that money is going. And... Um, it's going to be incredible. So our trip is completely paid for. All the rescues that we're going to do next week is completely paid for. And now, man, we got to do things like we have to build a security wall around the Redemption Ranch that is down there. And we also have to dig a water well that's actually on the property. And we have all that set up and we can do all those things. And then, guys, we can rescue a whole lot more kids. Um, Pastor Jerry is going to be down there with us again. Yes. And if he starts crying, I promise you I'll film it so that I can berate him in front of everybody. Okay, you have my word when he cries because he cries all the time. I'm going to film it and show it to you guys. I, I run away. I run away. I don't let everybody see me cry. It's an ugly cry. It is an ugly cry. It's like, not. It's not. horrible. It's it is like not. I'm having a fit or something. It's like not good. No. No, man. Those are sweet moments. They and we're going to have moments. a lot of those sweet moments next week. And we're also going to be a part of, of some things that's really difficult to be a part of that is a terrible privilege to get to be a part of. Right on? And so tonight's offering is going to continue to go. Whatever additional offering there is, it's going to continue to go to that. With the new projects we have, well, let me say this. To finish the projects we've already started at Redemption Ranch is around... Including that trip, it was uh, around four hundred thousand dollars. So it's around three hundred and twenty, uh, three hundred and thirty thousand dollars, and we're about um, we're already about forty thousand dollars into that on top of the price of the trip and all of the operations we're doing next week. So guys, we're well on the way to just finishing yeah. this thing. So awesome! And so I'm so grateful. If you cannot give tonight, and they're like, dude, I've already gave, man. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. 
Thank you. I mean it. Thank you. If you if you can't give, or even if you can, and you just don't want to tonight, you're like, dude, I bought a ticket, and it was pretty daggum pricey. You know what? You are already a part of this thing. Mm-hmm. You're already a part of it. Yes. Here's what's realistic. We're going to do this with or without you. <laughs> Amen. Because the Lord's going to make it happen. And just as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, and we will be a part of this. And that's just a conscious decision that we've made as a family and as a tribe, that this is the mission of the church. And quite frankly, for everybody that's here, you're like, hey man, we watch you every week on TV. We watch your church services. Make no mistake about it, friends. We do this to do that. And the day that I can't do that, I ain't doing this. Oh, did that make anybody mad? I hope not, because that's as real as it can be. The only reason to do big church that I can see is to do big kingdom ministry all throughout the earth. That's it. Otherwise, we all gather in our homes and we do all that. But man, if we have a giant global mission and if we are true abolitionists that hate slavery, I want to just tell you this. I want to talk to all my woke friends. We don't care if you hate slavery 200 years ago, if you're not saving a slave today. Yes. Yes. We don't care. Yes. We don't care what you think. Because it's below me. There are more slaves alive today, right now, than at the height of the Roman Empire. And nobody cares because they are poor. Yeah. And if you're, and if you're a racist pig and you have to go after a certain kind of skin tone, pick it. We do a great work in Uganda, we do a great work in India, we do a great work in Mexico, we do a great work here. We do a great work in Asia. We do a great work everywhere. There are kids to be rescued and women to be rescued and little boys to be rescued all over the world. And if the church does not answer this, just like the church answered slavery here in the United States, nobody else is coming. That's right. That's right. Amen. Uh, so I want to ask you guys to stand up. Man, God is good. He is good. It's good to see so many people here tonight. I know. Yeah, it's great to see so many hey, people here tonight. They all came back. They did come back. <laughs> My bunch, Thank bunch you. of gluttons for punishment. <laughs> I'll talk to you cats here in a few minutes whenever, whenever we come back from the offering. So. Father God, I want to lift up the offering tonight. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, sir. We pray, God, that it is not a burden for one single person to give here tonight, including Leanna and I, that it's just that there's no burden. That God, we just give freely because we can. And I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, that you would see our faithful and sacrificial giving, Lord. And I pray, God, that you would bless it. And I pray, God, that it would be your greatest joy to bless us like that. So in worship towards that moment, God, it is our joy to get to give here tonight. And we thank you, Lord God, for saving Nimshi and so many other girls and boys, Lord. And we ask you, Lord, to do even more. And God, we're saying yes to that cause and yes to the hard work. And we love you for it, sir. In Jesus' name, everybody here say together. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, if you all have an offering to give, you can bring it down here to the front. If you want to give with cards, there are people that are holding up electronic devices all over the house. For all my friends that are watching all over the world, hey, guys, all my peeps, man, all over our social media. I love you guys and call y'all blessed. And I'm going to turn this over to this guy that you just saw crying. (laughs) Crying. You just saw it. And also, too, she was crying, too. They were both there at the moment of that rescue with me. Here we go. Well, man, (laughs) what what can you say? Hey, if you have the heart of the Father, there's going to be tears. There's going to be tears. I was like, it's good that he cut over there because you were next. Yes. And I was like, he won't go all the way with you. These are real-life stories of real life individuals that need someone to care Correct. and someone to love. And maybe you're thinking, really, really, should I do anything? I, I challenge you right now. Should you partner? Should you not partner? <laughs> Why don't you ask Holy Spirit and say what he says? <sighs> and I guarantee you, every penny spent is worth it. I, I, I've been alongside Pastor Troy and Pastor Leanna for almost 13 years. Oh, wow. And uh, I've seen the stories. I've been there, and I've seen the numbers, and I've seen the impact. And uh, what a terrible privilege it is. It is. It is for me even taking the phone yesterday and share with our people, share with my friends down there in Mexico and say, we're going, we're getting there, we're almost there, it's happening, the Lord will do it. But this is a great tool to start, to say yes, 
We are close to do it. And it's because the help that everybody, the seed that everybody is willing to plant in this ministry and save so many kids. And I think it's so many ways to do it, but I'm, I mean, just to take the phone and say yes. Yes. And yes. see the cry on the other side of the phone. And yes. see like, are it's you powerful. being real with this? It's oh powerful. my goodness, this is real powerful. Quickly. You can give by going to odx.tv forward slash give, or you can text the word free 24, free 24 to 833-892-3501. You see it there on your screen. I beg you, I implore you, these are lives, these are real people, these are real life stories. Give, make a difference, save an individual today. And thank you for your partnership. Thank God you. God bless you. Thank you, thank you. I just want to sit here and watch that video, man. Worship the Lord. That was Josh Weather singing Pastor Pauline's team, and that was from last night. Yeah, that was last night here. Man, that was, that was killer good, man. My eye holes are leaking right now. Well, listen, I'm going to close out everybody that's watching all over the world. Um, if you're like, no, no, don't, don't, don't. I'm like, yeah, 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 we are, because the rest of this is going to be exclusive to everybody who made it here. Amen. You know, there are people here, like, well, why would you do that? You know that there's a family that came all the way down from northern Canada. They drove. They drove through two ice storms. They crashed their car and still made it here. Where is that family? Where are you guys at? Just stand up. There, look at that stud right there. Wow. So incredible. What about my friend that came in all the way from Portugal? Is there, where, where's he at? Is he in here? Stand up, dude. Hey, what an honor to have you here. Now we gotta get together tomorrow, man. We gotta get together, okay? Man, I, I have been in meetings. I told, you I, I told you I wanted to get with you, man. I haven't been able to get with anybody today. I, I've just been in meetings all day, and so, it's been a long and busy day today, and I'm, pray I'm grateful for teams that are getting so much done. Amen. Hey, man, if you're from out of the nation, would you please stand up? If you come from a different nation, I want you to stand up. Wow. Wow, man. Costa Rica, right? It's awesome. I'm sorry I hadn't get got to talk to all you guys yet. Hey, man, if you're from out of the state, I want you all to stand up. Wow. If you're a dadgum Texan and proud of it, just stand up, would you? Because, yeah! Yeah! Hallelujah. All right. So all my friends that are watching all over the world, listen, we're going to let you guys go. If you want to see the rest of this, you have to go to odx.tv. If you go to odx.tv, you'll catch the rest of this service. All right. Blessings and peace on you. Everybody say bye-bye, y'all. All right. Awesome. Good job.